Some three years ago, I did a couple of videos comparing track records of the queens that had competed on Drag Race. And since then, I haven't made or uploaded any videos of that type, simply because I didn't feel the need to do that. Well, until recently. Drag Race España is the best spin of Drag Race, end of discussion. They have the best runway looks, they have the best winners, they have the best lips. Uh, well, yeah, no, the lip syncs are one of the worst, but okay. Today we're going to be looking at the winners, Karen Farala and Sharon. They both were the best competitors in their seasons, neither one was ever declared below safe. Well, okay, see, some people think that Carmen was low in their snatch game because she was one of the last three queens left on the runway before the lip sync. But what the judges told her and her edit in that episode were not for the low placement. They weren't even for the safe placement. So for me, Carmen was high in that episode. And if that bothers you, well, I mean, it doesn't matter, but also... I don't care. This is the point system that I've used for both seasons. I think you know that by now. But before we begin, I just want to give a special shout out to all of the people on Patreon that have supported me this far. You guys are just the best. Obviously, I also want to give a special shout out to the new people this week. Well, the new person this week. I want to say Fraser Norton. Welcome and thank you for joining. Alright, how are we going to do this? Well, first we're going to go through season 1 and through Carmen Farala's track record. Given that she was the first winner, she kind of set the standard for the second winner. So we're going to see how many points Carmen earned on that season, we're going to calculate the percentage of her points in comparison to the maximum amount of points a queen could have won on her season, and you know what, we're going to do that right now. So. In the first episode, when the queens had to do their drag on a dime-esque challenge, Carmen was not only high, but she also won that episode's mini challenge, earning 5 points. In the second episode, she also earned 5 points, when the queens were doing that whole girl group's maxi challenge, and when they did the tribute to La Veneno on the runway, Carmen was the best, and so she won the maxi challenge. Episode 3 was the first time that Carmen was safe, but went just like I said, in the next episode, in episode 4, when they did Snatch Game, Carmen was high. Carmen also won all of the mini challenges in the last three competitive episodes of the season, so even though she was safe in episode 5, she earned 4 points. However, in episode 6, when the queens did the roast, Carmen did not just win the mini, but she also won the max challenge. She also did the same in episode 7, when the queens had to do the makeover challenge. So, Carmen finished the episode with 33 points. The maximum for that season is 42, so Carmen earned 78.57% of the maximum. This is with the points of the mini challenges. If we don't include those, Carmen earned 29 points, the maximum now is 35, and the percentage of the maximum that she earned is 82.85%. Quite impressive, wouldn't you agree? Before we continue with Sharon, I want to talk about the mini challenges. So, mini challenges simply give you one tiny little extra point. And the thing is that they're not constants on Drag Race. What I'm trying to say is that it's very rare that two seasons of Drag Race have the same amount of mini challenges. However, both seasons of Drag Race España had the same amount of mini challenges each. Seven. So, yeah, we're going to also include the mini challenge points. But don't you worry your precious little heads. We're also going to do the comparison of the two track records without the mini challenge points. Now, Sharon. The second season of Drag Race España had 9 competitive episodes, you know, the episodes where the queens can earn points, and 7 mini challenges, as I've just said. So, the maximum amount of points for this season is 52. The 78.57% of the 52 points is like 40... something something something. In order for Sharon to win here, she would have to have earned 41 points or more on season 2. Let's see if she did. In the first episode, much like 
like Carmen, Sharon was high, but she did not win the mini challenge. In the second episode, the best episode of the season, the best episode of the franchise, the best episode of all Drag Race, Sharon not only won the mini challenge, but she also won the maxi challenge. Her talent show was incredible, and her runway I do not know how, but was even better. We're continuing on with episode 3 and the improv challenge, after which Sharon was high. Episode 4 gave us the first musical of Drag Race España, and is anybody surprised? Sharon was high yet again. She was not high in episode 5, the Snatch Game episode, no. She was the winner of the maxi challenge then. And then, you know, she also won the mini challenge, earning herself six points. Episode six, the Spanish ball, the first ball of the season, also was the first time that Sharon did something. It was the first time that Sharon was safe this season. Well, the first and the last time, because in the next episode, Sharon won the maxi challenge with Estrella. A maxi challenge that most resembles the maxi challenges we see on Drag Race US. What I'm trying to say is that that this was the worst episode of Drag Race España season 2. Sharon was high in the roast challenge in the episode 8, and looking at this picture, I see that she was inspired by Kennedy Davenport. But I also just want to add that in episode 8, she also won the mini challenge, thus earning herself 5 points. Oof. We have only one episode to go and Sharon is at 36 points. So she needs 5 points to beat Carmen's track record. Unfortunately, Sharon earned only 4 points in the last competitive episode of the season. Oh, she was so close to beating Carmen. But wait just a second. We also have to compare the track records without the mini-challenge points. So. As we've said, Carmen earned 82.85% of the maximum without the mini-challenges. The maximum of the second season without the mini-challenge points is 45. So, the amount of points that Sharon now needs to have earned is 38. Her first mini-challenge win was in episode 2, and her second and, well, last mini-challenge win was in the 8th episode. And... If you've paid attention, Sharon earned 4 points in the last competitive episode of season 2, thus beating Carmen this time. I... so... who did better? Uh, if we include the mini-challenges, Carmen, but if we don't include them, it's Sharon. Yeah, I don't have a conclusive answer this time. I would say Sharon simply because the queens of the second season were a much stronger group than the season 1 queens, so the competition was much tougher this time around. And that's it. That's the video. But alright, for all of you, what do you think? Who was more impressive in their seasons, Carmen or Sharon? Please do sound off in the comments and thank you for watching. Oh yeah, also, could you tell that I was looking at the script that was written in Spanish and translating it on the spot? Is it that obvious? Please do tell me in the comments.